Okay guys, welcome back to my channel Engineers Academy. Uh, do subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve uh, this problem from Hemostatics. And the problem says that determine the y bar of this given solid. So first of all, uh, if I draw a plane, x, y plane, let me draw an x, y plane. Uh, if this is let's say x y plane and so as we can see that this x y planes cuts this solid in two equal parts so this means that uh, this given solid is symmetrical about this uh, x y plane and if it is symmetrical about x y plane then the centroid of this solid will locate on this x y plane if let's say if I draw a plane which passes through the y and z axis, if let's say if if this is the plane, if this is y z plane, so this y z plane will cut this solid into two equal parts as well. So from that uh, we can see that uh, this solid is symmetrical about this y z plane as well. This is y z plane. So this is the solid is symmetrical about the y z plane and this is symmetrical about the x y plane. So this means that the centroid of this solid will lie on the intersection of both of these two planes. So the intersection of both of these two planes is the y axis. right? So this means that the centroid of this solid will lie somewhere on the y axis. So from that we can conclude that the uh, x bar will be equal to 0 since uh, this solid is symmetrical about the x y plane. So the if, if it is symmetrical about the x y plane, so uh, the z bar coordinate will be equal to 0. And similarly, if it is symmetrical about the y z plane, so the x bar coordinate will be equal to 0. We, we know that y bar will be equal to since this is a 3D solid, so we have to apply the principle of moment equation for the volume. So we can say that this is y tilde times dv divided by uh, dv integration. So now to evaluate this equation, we have to define a differential volume. So for that, let's say that this is my differential volume. And this differential volume has some thickness and that thickness is along the y axis so this is very small thickness let's say this is dy and the centroid of this differential volume will lie on the y axis as well and the distance of the centroid of this differential volume from the origin is defined by y tilde so this is y tilde and as we know that this differential volume is located at a distance of y from the origin so that means that y tilde is equal to y Similarly, uh, this profile of this solid is defined by this equation y, z as a function of y. And so, the radius of this differential volume, the surface area, the radius of the surface area of this differential volume uh, has a radius. Let's say this is the radius and this radius will be equal to z, right? Since if, if the differential volume is here, so then this is z. And if it reaches here, then this is z, right? So the radius is defined by the z coordinate of this profile and that z is given as a function of y. So now from this we can write that dv is equal to the area, this surface area times the thickness of the differential volume that is dy. And as we know that this uh, area is the area of the circle. So this means that a is equal to pi z square since the radius is defined by z coordinate. So now we can write that this is pi and z square, this is z, right? So we can write that z is y divided by 6 into y minus 1 whole square. So this is the area. So first let me simplify this. This is pi divided, uh, if we apply the square formula, so this will become y square divided by 6 square. So 6 square is 36 into y minus 1 square. And we can further open this equation. Uh, this is pi y square divided by 36 and this will be y square plus 1 square minus 2 
y into 1 so that is minus 2y so this is equal to we can add this as pi uh, by 36 and if I multiply this y square inside so that will become y to the power 4 plus y square minus 2y cube uh, let me write this y square terms after this y cube term so this will be plus y square so we will have this area like this so now we can write that dv so dv will be equal to this area so area is pi divided by 36 y to the power 4 minus 2y to the power 3 plus y square into dy so this is that dv now we need to evaluate that this equation so in this equation we have the numerator and the denominator so this is the numerator so we have to find this uh, numerator first so that is the y tilde times dv and we can write that y tilde is y so i will write this as y and dv is this thing right so this is pi divided by 36 into y to the power 4 minus 2y to the power 3 plus y square dy so this is we can write this constant outside of integration this is pi divided by 36 and if we multiply this y inside so that would become y to the power 5 minus 2y to the power 4 plus y to the power 3 dy and the the y limits for this solid is from 0 to 3 feet right so the height of this solid along the y axis is, is up to 3 feet so we have to integrate this from y equals to 0 until y equals to 3 feet so this is pi divided by 36 and when we integrate this so this is y to the power 6 divided by 3 uh, divided by 6 minus 2y to the power 5 divided by 5 plus y to the power 4 divided by 4 and this is from 0 to 3 so this is pi divided by 36 and if we put these limits so this will be 3 to the power 6 divided by 6 minus 2 3 to the power 5 divided by 5 plus 3 to the power 4 divided by 4 and if we put 0 so that everything will become 0 so this is minus 0 so now let me simplify this this is pi divided by 36 into 3 to the power 6 divided by 6 minus 2 into 3 to the power 5 divided by 5 plus 3 to the power 4 divided by 4 so this gives me uh, 3.888 approximately so this is 3.888 and if we look into this so this is y bar its units are in feet and this is feet cube so this is feet to the power 4 now we need to integrate this as well so that is the integration of dv so now dv is again this thing so we will write that this is pi divided by 36 and this is y to the power 4 minus 2y cube plus y square dy and again the integration is with respect to y so we have to integrate this from 0 to 3 feet so this is a constant so we can write it is outside so this is pi divided by 36 and when we integrate this so this is y to the power 5 divided by 5 minus 2y to the power 4 divided by 4 or we can say that 4 you know, 2 divided by 4 is 1 divided by 2 and this is y to the power 3 divided by 3 and this is from 0 to 3 so now we have to put these limits so this is pi divided by 36 and 3 to the power 5 divided by 5 minus 3 to the power 4 divided by 2 plus 3 to the power 3 divided by 3 
and if we put this 0 limit, so everything will become 0. So, this is pi divided by 36 So, this gives us 1.492, this is 1.492 and since the integration of dv uh, means that we have aided the differential volumes from y equals to 0 until y equals to 3 feet. So, this gives us the total volume of the solid and its units will be feet cube. So, now uh, we have evaluated that numerator and denominator in this equation. So, y tilde the integration of y tilde times dv is 3.888. So, I will write this as 3.888 and the integration of dv. So, the total volume is 1.492. So, we have to divide it by 1.492. So, this will give us the uh, location of the centroid y bar of this given solid. So, that is 3.888 divided by 1.492. So, this gives me 2.605 or we can say that this is approximately 2.61 feet from the origin. So, the centroid is located somewhere here for this solid that is at a distance of 2.61. So, the midpoint along the y axis is 3 feet divided by 2. So, that is 1.5. So, that is somewhere here 2.61 that is uh, nearer to this end of the solid. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comment section if this helps in your learning. Also, do hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed my channel yet and like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibler Statics.